astonishingly, although it is generally thought of as a dinosaur, a pterodactylus is not technically a dinosaur, it is a pterosaur. Pterosaurs were airborne reptiles that existed from the late Triassic period until the end of the Cretaceous period. The pterodactylus could be found in Europe and North Africa. It had bat-like wings and a crest on its head. In actuality, the pterodactylus would have been about the size of a hawk or an eagle with a wingspan of around one meter. The familiar sight of a large flying reptile more closely resembles the characteristics of a pteranodon. The pteranodon had a wingspan of around 5 meters, much larger than the pterodactylus, and could have easily picked up and eaten a human for a snack. The pterodactylus was a carnivore, and its main food would probably have been small animals and fish. The pterodactylus was the first pterosaur to be discovered, and it was found in Germany in the late 18th century. One of the more interesting and perhaps lesser well-known facts about the pterodactylus is that it walked on four legs when on land. Scientists have unearthed fossils showing their footprints. Although we now know that the pteranodon was bigger than the pterodactylus, the biggest pterosaur was actually the Quetzalcoatlus, which had an astonishing 12 meter wingspan the size of a small plane. Although one of the smaller pterosaurs, the pterodactylus was different from the larger pteranodon and Quetzalcoatlus in that it had teeth and they did not. Likely, the larger pterosaurs lived off fish, while the pterodactylus would also hunt small animals. Although the pterodactylus has been misrepresented in media due to it not being a dinosaur and not very big, is still quite an interesting creature.